What is up, movie fanatics? Before we get into this video, I just want to ask a quick question for you all. Just answer it in the comments below for me. What are your favorite videos that I do on this channel? This is just for a future um, update that I keep talking about. I'm trying to tweak some things on this channel. And I want to know from you guys, what are your favorite videos that I have done in the past or I do now? Let me know in the comments below. And also, don't forget to check out my Facebook group, What's Up Doc Movie Talk. Let's get into the video. What is up my movie fanatics and welcome to another Blu-ray DVD and 4K update. I hope you're all doing well. It's already February and we're pretty much done with February at this point because it's so short. But I just can't believe how time's flying. I have a lot to show you guys. I have some DVDs, I have some Blu-rays, I have some Scream Factory, some 4Ks, a little bit of everything like I usually do. I kind of went ham last month. You're going to see throughout this video some Christmas themed movies and that's because during December I put them off. I kept saying I'm going to buy them, I'm going to buy them, and then we sold them or they were sold out at Best Buy or whatever. So luckily at work we're replenishing our Christmas movies and I took advantage of them and I started scooping some of these up. First up of the DVDs we have Santa Slay and Slasher Junkie recommended this one to me. He said it's really really good and it seems just cheesy and fun. I mean it's Bill Goldberg you guys. It's Goldberg as Santa. It's a slasher as with Bill Goldberg as Santa. I don't know how much more you could ask for. It's probably cheesy, it's probably off the wall fun, but I wanted to get some more Christmas horror because I don't have a lot of it, and that's one area that I kind of wanted to work on. Next up here is a movie that I watched during the 31 Days of Halloween, and this movie shocked the hell out of me. I thought it was so much fun, and it was even more shocking that this is a kid's movie, and that is The Witches. It's crazy to see how time has changed, and I mean, this is dark. It's good. I mean, the special effects, I mean, the witches are scary looking. It's it's nothing to mess with. I absolutely love this movie. This is one that really did shock me. And I'm glad that we did the 31 Days of Halloween because there's a lot of movies now that I watched that I, I know I'm going to have to buy this year for, for next year. So I'm super excited to own this one. I also heard they're going to redo this movie as Anne, Anne, Anne Hathaway is playing the... Um, the head witch, which it would be her in this one. I don't know, I'm on board for it. I mean, why not? I mean, but this one's awesome. This definitely needs a Blu-ray release. And last of the DVDs, we have a three pack here that I picked up at work. I'm so excited to get my hands on this. I've had the third movie and it was in the Blu-ray pack, like six horror movies. And that is the Killjoy set. I asked around, a lot of people said that you cannot find these on Blu-ray. If you guys know anywhere that's like region free or region A with these on Blu-ray, let me know because I do not have a region free player. I have a thing, I've said this hundreds of times on my channel, clowns, kids, and dolls freak me out more than anything. So I really like to have as many clown movies as I can get my hands on and this is just low budget cheese fun. You, you cannot take these movies seriously. You have to take them with a grain of salt. They're just off the wall cheesy. If you've ever seen them, let me know in the comments below. Moving along to DVDs. This one kind of sparked my interest. I uh, actually picked this up at work. And the only reason why I picked this up is because Robert England's in it. And it just seemed different. I've never heard of this. And that is 2001 Maniacs. I mean, look at Robert England in that first off. That's the only reason why I picked this up. I know nothing about it. Um, it was part of my buy three, get a fourth one free. So I figured, you know what? Might as well be my free movie. If it's good, it's good. If it's not, oh well. You know, no big deal. This next Christmas horror movie is one that I wanted to watch so bad in December. I just never got around to it. And I saw it at work and I had to pick it up because it had a slip and that is Better Watch Out. Now, I've heard a lot of mixed opinions about this movie. I've heard a lot of people say it's good. A lot of people say it's not for them. I don't know. I figured, you know what, just grab it, watch it, because it had a slip. And um, any of the other ones I've seen come in at work, they, they never have slips. So I don't know if the slip's getting harder to find or what. But it's a Christmas horror movie. I'm excited to have it. Like I said, I've heard a lot of mixed opinions on it. I have not seen this one because, like I said, I just picked it up last month. And this is one that I did want to watch. So if you've seen this, do you like it? Is it worth, you know, watching? Is it something you could revisit every year? Let me know. These next four are from the Warner Archive collection. And they, if you guys didn't know, they have a sale every once in a while. It's four for 44. And I jumped on that right away because there's three movies I've been putting off and I've been wanting to get. I specifically waited for the four for 44. This first one though, I blind bought just because I didn't know what else to buy. There was so much to pick from. And I'm a huge fan of Michael J. Fox and watching the trailer of this just seemed funny and just a good time. And that is Doc Hollywood. 
like I said, the trailer intrigued me. Huge fan of Michael J. Fox. Woody Harrelson's in it. You really can't go wrong. And I'm, I'm a big fan of Woody Harrelson, too. I, I really like his uh, anything he's, he's done. But, yeah, this is the blind buy. This is the one that I, I know nothing about. I just watched the trailer. It intrigued me. And I said, you know what? That'll be my fourth one. So... I remember when they announced this through the Warner Archive collection and I wanted to jump on it right away, but I put it off and put it off a couple times now for the 4 for 44. This has been out for a while and I remember a lot of people picking this up. This is one of the movies that I can remember watching all the time as a kid. This is one of my all-time favorite Batman movies and that is Batman Mask of the Phantasm. I mean, first off, that artwork kind of used to freak me out as a kid. I don't know why. But this, watching this just brings me back to those awesome, like, 90s, you know, I used to watch Batman, Spider-Man, X-Men, all those amazing shows. And then when my brother, because he's a little bit younger, he used to watch Batman Beyond a lot, so I kind of would watch that with him. Um, this, this is it. This is kind of one that I just remember more than anything. This one stands out more than anything. Glad to finally have this. It's going to be awesome with my um, DC collection and my other superhero movies. So this is one This is one of the main reasons why I wanted to take advantage of the 4 for 44. This next one is an upgrade of a Stephen King movie. Once again, I was super excited because this one definitely needed a Blu-ray update. And that is Dolores Claiborne. Love Kathy Bates. I've said that numerous times. She is so talented, but I think she really is especially talented at playing like those evil, psychotic crazy people she just has a natural talent of that and seeing her like an american horror story seeing her in this and like misery really shows her talent and um it just it's really fun i mean it's it, i mean it says right now like it says it's a psychological thriller which is first off stephen king is either a horror or a psychological thriller this is this next one super excited to have i wanted to add this to my texas chainsaw massacre collection and that is leatherface the texas chainsaw massacre 3. it's been a long time since i've seen this one because i used to mostly watch the first and then the second one when scream factory released and i watch that all the time now so much fun so much fun excited to have this one heard a lot of good things heard some eh, things about it it's been a while i i know i liked it i know that much i know i enjoy it I just don't remember enough to really sit there and say anything about it. I don't know why I never had this one in my collection and I found it at work with a slipcover. I don't know why. We put this movie on in our retro room. Um, we have a VHS player in the back at work and we play this movie all the time. This is one of my favorite Pixar movies. I remember watching this in Toy Story all the time as a kid and that is A Bug's Life. I got this for Brooke. I cannot wait to show this to her. I love this movie. God, oh God, this movie's so good. It always puts a smile on my face. It's kind of dark too at times with the cockroaches and stuff, but I love the whole circus group and it's just fun. It's just pure Pixar fun. You can't go wrong with it. I mean, if you haven't seen it, you're crazy, but it's a good time and that slip, I like this slip. Them eating through the leaf, very cool. Picked up another Disney movie. Actually, this is two movies. This is the Atlantis Collection. Now, I picked this up mostly for Jess because, like, she does love her Disney. And I didn't know if... I knew we didn't have this, but I didn't know if she's ever seen these. I used to watch uh, The Lost Empire all the time. But uh, Milo's Return, I don't remember too much. Um, actually, I don't even know if I've ever seen that one. I know I've seen The Lost Empire numerous times. But this is a great double pack. And I've only seen it come through work now twice, and I bought it the one time. So, fun pack here. You never know, you know, when stuff's going to come out of the vault or if you can get it through the DMC. Jess takes care of all that. So, you know, someone's probably going to say in the comments, well, you can get it now. You probably can. Jess takes care of the Disney Movie Club, not me. There was two local Kmarts around me, and they both sadly went out of business. And the second one just recently went out of business. So, I walked in the one day, and I figured, you know what? Let's see what they have. Maybe they'll have something, maybe they won't. And and these were like $2 a piece. I don't even care if they're good or bad or ugly. I looked them up on IMDb and I was like, hey, if it has like five stars or more, I'm going to pick it up. Luckily, this one, I don't remember what it had exactly, but it's one of those ones that teeter-totter where some people like it, some people don't. And that is Flora. I'm actually really excited to see this one because if it's one thing that Jess and I like are these... Uh, pandemic these epidemic uh, epidemic movies and this clearly is one um where this deadly flower like you know, when you contract it it makes you go mad and stuff i think is what it is yeah so basically it's killing people 
These next two actually it was an upgrade to the DVD. I got the DVD a family video a long time and because you know me. This time of year I go through a lot of action phases. And I was actually very surprised to get this at family video. And that is Ninja and Ninja 2. Very fun. Just over the top action. I'm easy to please. Actually, the plot really shocked me. There is a lot more to it than just crazy action. I mean, there is crazy action, but they're just fun. Fun, simple movies. They're ninjas. They're beating the crap out of people. They're getting their ass kicked at times. It's fun. That's all I wanted out of these. And I was glad to see it as a double feature in a Blu-ray pack. Two bucks. That's a dollar movie. Come on. How could you pass this up? This next one has been talked about in the Facebook groups now for a while. And I realized that it was actually in the Best Buy dump bin. And that is Blue Velvet. Now, call me crazy. But I'm pretty sure that one, there's a company releasing this and giving it some special treatment. Of course, because I just bought it. But for $5.99, i have never seen this. And from what I've read from people saying, it's a really good thriller. And everybody says it's it's top notch. That if you haven't seen it, you're crazy. So I figured, you know what, for five ninety nine and the dump in, why not? Is it getting a special release? And who's releasing it? I, I would love to hear what you guys know about it because I, I don't, I don't, I just remember hearing something about it. Maybe it's Criterion. I don't know. Correct me in the comments. This one I needed. I ever since Glass, they announced Glass. I got super excited, and I cannot believe I didn't have this movie. It's actually so popular right now, it's impossible pretty much to get on Amazon. Like, they put them up for sale and then they're sold out instantly and that is unbreakable. I pre-ordered this a while ago and then it finally came because like, you know, you're like basically on a waiting list. Watch this with Jess. I forgot how much I love this movie. I really forgot how much I love this movie. It's really is such a mind-blowing crazy movie a, a very interesting take on superheroes and M. Night Shyamalan does such a good storytelling with this with this movie he really does I mean I love this series I love Split I can't wait to see Glass and I'm a huge fan of Signs and Sixth Sense I know not all his movies are, are a hit most of them are misses but this is one that I think everybody should at least check out once I mentioned before that I've been on a Bill Hader kick and one movie that I've never seen that was recommended to at work is Adventureland and I watched this with Jess oh my god first off this is embarrassing because this is filmed uh, at a local amusement park which is amazing to see it brought back so many good memories because they've changed so much over time but Jesse Eisenberg and Bill Hader and, and Kristen Wiig and Ryan Reynolds they're all I mean this whole cast is really good very glad to have this one so good so funny and ever since I was on a Bill Hader kick I kind of been on a Jesse Eisenberg kick um, I never really noticed how good of an actor he was, I guess because I never really paid attention to any of his movies until like Batman vs Superman. So this one kind of just grabbed me at work and I, I scooped it. It just, it's a, it seems like a really cool thriller and it says a nail biting almost Hitchcockian and that is Night Moves. Anything that's close to Hitchcock, you're going to get my attention. You throw Hitchcock's name on any movie and I'm going to be like, if it's close to it, count me in. I love Hitchcock. Um, I, I don't know anything about it, but I'm excited to see it has Jesse Eisenberg, Dakota Fanning in it, two, two names I know very well. And I do like Dakota Fanning and I really like Jesse Eisenberg. I want to see more. So if you guys could in the comments below, recommend some more Jesse Eisenberg movies that you guys personally like, I want to hear what you guys recommend. And this next one is actually just a rebuy. If that, does that make any sense? I got rid of a lot of my steel books because I only have two shelves. And my steel books, sadly, were taking up the most room. And honestly, I wasn't really watching them because I was more worried about how they looked. So selling them off and giving the people that I knew would enjoy them and appreciate them as much as I did at one time was the right thing to do in my eyes. I don't know. But this is one movie that I had to have and I had to read by, and that is Anchorman. I don't really need to say anything about it. One of my favorite all-time Will Ferrell movies. The cast is phenomenal in this movie. That's all I need to say about it. I'm sure everybody has seen it. Moving on to Scream Factory. Now this one came in through work. I knew nothing about it. I read the back. I was like, hey, this is interesting. And that is Elizabeth Harvest. Uh, yeah, I know nothing about it. Um, it. It says it's a brain bending plunge into the dark desire, darkest desires. Hey, I'm in, you know, it's either going to be really good because I see IFC films on the back of this too, or really just meh. 
So, I mean, I'm going to give it a chance. It was from uh, 2018. It was made. If you know anything about it, let me know. I'm excited to check this one out. I do not believe it has reverse artwork. I have to double check. Hang on. This one took a while to get because uh, it was on back order, actually, and I ordered it through work. Super excited to get this. I was so excited when they announced this, and I wanted to watch it in December. And actually, I might just watch it soon just because it is still wintertime, and that is Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2. Very excited. Very excited. It's garbage day. It's garbage day. Yeah. Very excited. Love your artwork. Beautiful artwork. Joel Robinson again. And of course, I want to show you guys the reverse artwork. I always like this art, man. Like the, the classic um, ball. Uh, Christmas ball. Fantastic. Very cool. I like the first one and I like the second one. I've never seen anything beyond that. Is it worth my time to watch part three or four? Uh, how many do they even have? I don't even know. Shout out to Blu-ray Outlaw for the hookup on this one. This is one that he's been talking about for a while. Same with uh, Slasher Junkie saying, Doc, you got to watch this. It's hysterical. It's just a ton of fun. And that is Bubba Hotep. Outlaw was kind enough to give me this for a fantastic deal. I watched this and... You know how, like, if you watch a movie by yourself, you don't really laugh as much? Like, it sounds weird to say that, but when you're with friends and you have that atmosphere with a group of friends and something's funny, you all seem to laugh together and it kind of just, it's, like, contagious. I literally laughed by myself with this movie, and that's, it's rare for me. I, I loved every minute of this movie. Bruce Campbell is brilliant in it. I love the special effects with the mummy. Just, the, the whole movie was just outrageous and fun. If you've never seen it, highly recommend it. Let me show you guys the reverse art. And there it is. You get a better look there of Bruce Campbell playing Elvis. Yes, he's playing Elvis. So good. You just, I, I don't want to say anymore. You have to check it out. Moving on to 4Ks, I picked up some good ones here. Uh, some that I've been wanting to get. First up here, we have the Meg. Funny, awesome, over the top. Everything I love about action movies and shark movies combined into one. Is it, like, this is one of those movies you have to take with a grain of salt. I mean, Jason Statham is fighting a Megalodon. You can't really take that seriously. It's it's well done, though. It's fun. It's They do a really good job of, like, balancing, like, the over-the-topness with, like, a d decent story. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I had fun with it. It's it's perfect Statham movie in my eyes. It's just over-the-top fun. This next one was an upgrade. This is when I was so excited when they announced that they were releasing this on 4K, and that is The Lion King. Who's excited for the live action? I gotta know that. Like this video if you're excited for the thumb or for the live action of Lion King. So excited to watch this on 4K. I haven't watched it yet. Love this movie. Watch it at work sometimes too on the VHS. And I forget how good this movie is sometimes. Then you watch it and you're, my jaw still drops with the uh, stampede scene to this day. It's just such a, the music and everything about it. It's such a powerful scene. But love this movie. Beautiful slip cover there. Glad to have it. Did my out in the bat on this, and this was Slim Pickens, one of my my favorite movie of last year, and that is Halloween. Very excited to have this 4K. I talked a lot about this many times. I was my favorite movie of last year. They did this sequel justice. I hope they do more. I'm excited to see if they do more. Fun, good time. Glad to see the original cast back. You know, and 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 Carpenter. But great stuff. I know a lot of people had problems with the ending. I enjoyed it, but I overall thought this movie was fantastic. So that is Halloween. Next up here, I'm so excited to upgrade this movie because I upgraded the original one and this slipcover is awesome. And that is Evil Dead 2. Look at that slipcover. Yeah, I always laugh at these movies because like the first movie is like straight up a horror movie. And then the second one's like, they don't really take itself seriously. And then you have Army of Darkness which is just over the top crazy. I don't think we will get, uh, I don't know, a 4K of Army of Darkness. I don't know, I really don't know because since Scream Factory released it, it's hard to say, I hope they do. But what's really cool is you get this really great slip cover and then they also like change the regular art as well. It's just cool, it's different. I like when they do different art instead of the classic skull, but very fun there. You see Ash with the boomstick and you know, the red. It's great movie and last but not least of this update i was actually really shocked with this one jess wanted to watch it and we love heist movies absolutely love heist movies this movie shocked the hell out of me on how good it was and that is oceans eight i think what i really really liked about this is not only the cast but they do a really interesting job of tying it into the other oceans movies and they can really branch out with this series like if, if sandra bullock and everybody decides to keep doing this movie 
I thought the cast was great. The only one who I thought was meh was Rihanna. Uh, everybody else's acting was great. I liked the characters. They all brought something fun to the table. And it's just a fun heist movie. So I hope this cast does return and do more because they intertwine it very well. It's, it's very fun. So anyway, guys, thank you for joining me on another Blu-ray, DVD, and 4K update. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Let's me know you're enjoying my content. Don't forget to check out What's Up Doc Movie Talk, my Facebook group, and all the people down below. Links are in the description. If you're new to my channel and you like movies as much as I do, click that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. And as always, everybody, take care and happy watching.